What is up guys, it's me, your boy Luigi21, back again with another gaming video. I haven't made one of these videos in a while, apart from live streams that is. But today it's all about FIFA and how terrible the career mode is. But while I'm here I'm going to show off my career mode, which is actually pretty sick. That me and my mates set up and yeah, you're not going to believe this. Basically I've got a Chinese team and put them in the Premier League. It's crazy. So I'm going to walk you through that today and prove why it's just not a good career mode at all. FIFA 20, you've done us dirty this time. Or well, most times. I mean, they haven't made it better. That's for sure. It's not better, so... What's the point? Guys, no, I just got really shook. It's so windy out, right? I don't know why my door keeps, like, moving. The wind. Like, close. Anyway, on with the gaming video. Roll the intro. Tell you about this little team. So we've got Barco. He wants to leave. That's the whole problem at the moment. And yeah, I got lo loads of uh, young players uh, that I brought through the academy, as well as loads of players that uh, I bought as well. Obviously, no Chinese players left. Um, if, as you can see, Para Esposito. These two strikers are quite young. A lot of potential. One from Spurs. One from Inter. Um, so I'm trying to get them, you know, better overalls. Train them up. Bergwijn, another Spurs player. Um, and a few, uh, like, they're like my reserve players, kind of. Tsunami from Lille, I think. Kamvanga, also from France somewhere. Um, yeah, they're like my reserve midfielders, kind of. And as you can see, Ozim is injured at the moment. Uh... You know, I've got a few players out on loan as well. Kamara in that centre-back. Pairing with uh, Konate. But yeah, starting with the top left. Looking at the top left, you've got Uzi. Uzi? <laughs> Literally, Uzi. Then Danny Olmo. Great player. I think he's Croatian. Rated 88 already. Wow. Top, top class. And Fernandez from Spurs. He's not that good in real life yet. 87, that's a high overall. I've trained up all these players. Like, That's the thing about Karim, you've got to train them up. De La Vega, Spanish player, great winger, uh, great goal scorer too. And Tonali in the centre of midfield, holding it up. I've got Sander Berg out on loan, but Tonali does the main job at the moment in that CDM role. You know, he is a good playmaker as well. Like I said earlier, Konate in the centre-back pairing with Kamar. Konate from Leipzig. Tavares, can't remember where I got him from, but he's gone up from like 76 to 85 in a few seasons. Amazing. You know, and uh, I like to mix and match the team quite a lot, but this is probably the main starting lineup at the moment, seeing as Azim is injured. You know, Lin's up front, because Barco is out the door, literally. I think some big clubs come. PSG? Definitely. Someone on that level has come in for him. See if that bid goes through. So we'll let you know on like the next video. Whenever that is. And then Trincao on the bench. Portuguese, good talent though. Good winger, quite tall. But for the Merle style approach to the game. You know, that kind of dribbling ability. Got a lot to learn though. Bergewijn was the impulse buyer though. Wagnerman, the reserve right back. Very good, again... Could be the starting right back. Tsunami, good replacement for Tonali. While Berg is out on loan. Kambanga, I'm putting him out on loan soon. Well, for you guys it would be. Anyway, this is my reserve left back. And another right mid I got there. That I signed earlier in, 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 in the campaign. A few youth players at the bottom there. Moretti and Colombo. Bastoni I signed from Inter. Pedri is another great player that you see down there. Rated 82 at the moment, trying to get him up. Um, but that is the main layout of my squad. 
two top keepers. I've got Nubel, German, and Radu at the moment. But yeah, we'll take that. And we'll... Oh, wait, I didn't even save it. I didn't really change anything, but yeah. Anyway, the main thing is to get rid of Barco and save it. Yes. And we are ready to go. Okay, so here we see the layout of the email part of the, the game. Barco's on there. He's moaning about his place. He wants out, basically. And I've had no say in this. I've had to respond. I had three responses. And none of them work. Please stay. Can you stay? No, he wants to leave. And I've had him on other career modes and he is a good player. He's a top player and I've got Bergerine so I really don't care. To be honest, he can go wherever he wants. But I'm going to negotiate the price for sure. Um, I can't remember how much. I, I've sold him now. I can't remember how much. I think at least 95 million. They offered 75. But anyway, let's look at the budget. I've got a lot of cash. And onto the board expectations. The thing that really annoys me is the uh, the youth development bit, where like I don't within two seasons, something about improving players and then have them play 50% of the next season games or something from the youth team. I'll try that if I get a good enough youth player. It could work. We shall see, and I will show you that of course. Probably if you saw my youth academy players Colombo or Moretti or whoever else I sign in the near future but the game coming up now is Sampdoria I um, mean you know, mid-table team um, the thing that really gets me is the, um, the post and pre-match interviews where you can really alter the mood of your players I mean try and be honest don't just cheat and say the good thing all the time you know it's the obvious thing to do but anyway, we're going to play Sampdoria and see what happens. And I explain a bit of my like formation and my style of play. And see the fixtures. At the moment, the list ain't too bad. But they can pile up. And make sure you've got at least two for every position. Or three. If you've got subs too. It gets a bit busy there, you know. January, December time. Not too bad though. But when you want to juggle competitions, it gets tough. Anyway, roll on the game. So guys, what did I just say? I said roll on the video. What? Roll the clip, I meant to say. Jesus, I'm not right in the head. Like, call a medic. Like, what is going on? It's this Storm Derek or Dennis, whatever it's called, getting on my tits. Alright, so let's get the team set up for this game. Probably going to put Bergwijn in there, as I already have. You see, I'm always thinking about who's happy, who's not. You know, Moretti, look, 18, a youth player. One that I'm seriously considering as that main youth player that I'm going to play 50% of the games next season. We'll see. And whoever's fit, uh, Baston, he's always moaning. I've got another centre back out on loan. Uh, Colombo is very inexperienced though, so I wouldn't put him in there with him. Necessarily, I could. But I just swap, like, the rest of them more tired. We've got pretty good stamina, the centre backs. The right back has got solid stamina and pace. Like 95 pace. So, yeah, what I do is I get the wingers to free roam and kind of get in the box. And normally one of them to stay up. In this case, probably not, but. Lens would just do whatever in the mid, in the middle of that attack, you know. And it seems to work. What I do is I get Fernandez as a right-sided midfielder to get forward when he can. That's the instructions. And then the other, like attacking midfielder, they can free roam and they're the playmaker, the creative talent in the team. And then Tonali in behind, just to hold everything together, like blue. And the back four, pretty simple like 4-3-3 three, three kind of layout and let's go right into the game alright so I'm not going to proper commentate just going to react to things as they, as they happen I might just skip some of it to be honest because it's all just random but yeah I'm probably going to make a meal out of this game just because I'm on camera like you know 
Normally I could bat a team like it's like 5 6 0. It gets boring though. I didn't want to make it boring for you guys. Look at that already. That Enon got off. Clear the danger. So, what I do with the, the tactics is I say get in the box. It's the in game tactics. So, get in the box. And as well as that, I do the uh, team pressing and the high pressure. High pressure? Team pressing and uh, anyway, whatever the other one is. High pressure and overload ball side, yeah, that's it. Whatever the ball is. Uh, but this Danny Olmo is pretty solid, pretty agile, pretty good at dribbling, oh, the whole shebang. But what I've started doing recently, uh, well after this game that was, is telling both wingers to stay up as well as the striker. So they're just up there ready to attack or receive the ball and play it on. Um, especially as the middle man, the striker in the middle, your layoff play has got to be good and your hold up play just to help the, the teammates and your wingers, who probably get as many goals. Um, when the team hems back, there'll be a lot more goals coming from the middle area of that attack. Uh, but while he's out, the wingers are the more experienced attackers, getting most of the chances. Okay. Oh my days, guys. Look, they're, they're, they're on the attack. They're open. They're home free. Got to stop that cross, that's uh, terrible. Oh, Bastoni on the line! Clear it! Oh my days. Clear it properly, guys. Come on. This is terrible. What is this? Rubbish. Career mode, you're doing me dirty again. Can't be having that. Come on, get get the ball moving, little counter. Little give and go. Side draw pass, as they call it. Finish! Yes, Linz. It's a youth player, he's done it. Forget a Z-Man, we've got this kid. This guy. Um, kid you not. I had a 35 mil offer for this guy and I signed him from the youth team. He's getting a grand a week guys and someone wants to pay 35 mil. Look at that finish as well. Taking it on the left, bang. Simples. If only it was always that easy. In this game, you know, one nil, come on. Sorted, but um, nah. Can't be having that. Look, again with that wide ball. Maybe if I sent if I tell the team to stay wide, could stop that. I do that sometimes, but it keeps you, it makes you open in the middle. I like the middle area, there's more space if you send everyone wide. It's kind of what Guardiola does. Like in defense, they go together, then when you attack, everyone spreads wide. And that's how they kill you. Well, not anymore because they got banned from the Champions League, so everyone's leaving City. Goodbye. Oh, am I going to score again? No, offside. But yeah. My boy's throwing goal. Throw a goal. Goal! Danny Olmo with the number two. What? Wait. With the number two. Just took a dump, basically. No. With goal number two. I would be a terrible commentator, but look at that. Through the gap again. Bang. Side of the keeper. Good night. And good riddance. Alright guys, so the game is over, and 2-0, final result, on we go to the post-match interview, where you try and just say the best, most positive answer, just to get your team high on morale, just for no reason. Um, so yeah, there he is, it's my guy, they're all a bit content at the moment, it's better than unhappy. They, my team has never been unhappy, but yeah, I mean, blah blah blah. There's normally three answers. One that's like motivating, one that's like, that's like neutral and calming, and one that could be maybe aggressive or more motivational. Aggressive is in against your team to decrease their morale. And maybe that's better to get give them an understanding of what you want. Like if you lose, criticize them because, you know, why are you going to praise them if you lose? Got well, different ways of approaching it, but if you win, yeah, say well done, but say, Maybe we could have done better, just to make them understand. And then there is a point when it asks, like, about individual players, how they performed. You know, praise them. Yeah, I do. I praise them most of the time. But it got me thinking, like, maybe don't all the time. Otherwise, they'll think they are bigger than the club and they can do what they want. Um, just keep it balanced. But it varies. They're going to be unhappy if they're not playing more than anything. Um, but, yeah, stick to it, you know. And now look, Danny Olmo's happy he's playing. 
and I'm telling him that I'm telling him, you know, to carry on with it. Basically, I'm not going to criticise them in that situation and say thanks. I might, I might say you need to get better, but yeah, train up your players all the time. Your young players, the ones that have got that like upwards arrow graph next to their name, and it will improve their overalls quicker, much quicker than FIFA will on its own with them just playing games. But there you have it, guys. I am top of the league. And that is it for this week on FIFA. A lot more videos to come. GTA Fridays are continuing for a few more weeks until I change it up. But yeah, that is it for now, guys. Thank you for joining me in another gaming video. And yeah, Barco is going to PSG. Goodbye, Barco.